So take a moment now to check that label inside the collar of your cotton shirt. The chances are it doesn't say made in the USA, even though the cotton it's made from was probably grown in the USA. Cotton farmers in North Carolina are trying to change that, teaming up with local textile mills to produce garments that are truly homegrown. Now, around a dozen companies are selling clothing that can be traced back to local cotton fields. From PBS station WTVI in Charlotte, Jeff Saunier shows us how Carolina textile towns are bouncing back after years of mills closing down and jobs moving out. Inside this North Carolina textile factory, it's the sound of survival, or maybe revival. When NAFTA hit, they basically said textiles in this country are dead. You either go overseas or you go out of business. That was the hard choice facing textile factory owner Eric Henry. The same hard choice that killed these other Carolina textile mills along with the textile jobs they provided for generations. Time was when cotton was king of the coastal plain. But it there will be over 100 people working in here. Mm -hmm. Our customers were Tommy, Nike, Gap, Polo, Adidas, high-level branded companies. <laughs> Within two years, we laid off 80% of our staff. The brands could not get overseas quick enough. And that's when I realized there's more to business than a bottom line. That's when we realize we want to be a different business. And for Henry's business, being different means not just made in the USA, but what he calls dirt to shirt. Products sewn here in the Carolinas from cotton that's grown here in the Carolinas. Yeah, you know, with all the struggles that Carolina cotton mills have been through over the past couple of years, you'd figure Carolina cotton farmers would be struggling too, but actually it's just the opposite. In fact, the farmers say, just like this field we're standing in right now, that their business is actually growing. Well, I think it's great. You know, just we're blessed to be able to grow a crop like this. Butch Brooks grows his cotton on a hundred year old family farm, picking it from behind the wheel of a half million dollar harvester. Cotton experts say the crop itself is high quality, which translates into high demand. This is the cotton that, that textile companies want. Absolutely. Uh, textiles want this quality cotton for expensive garments, uh, for high quality clothing. Problem is, after it's cleaned and baled and barcoded for sale, most of this local cotton winds up in the same place those local jobs went, overseas. This area of North Carolina is the center of cotton in the world at one time. People wanted to be able to go to the store and buy, you know, a shirt made in the United States. Well, right now there's almost none of that. Till we get that again, till we have something completely made in the Carolinas. We just believe there's more to a t-shirt than just the cost of a t-shirt, where it's made, how it's made, the impact it has on the people, the impact it has on the planet. We grow cotton here, we can make apparel here. In fact, the homegrown, home-sewn shirts here at Henry's factory even have special color-coded threads in the hem and the sleeves so you can track back your shirt to the very beginning. If you take those two colors and go to a website, where W-H-E-R-E, yourclothing.com, you put in these two colors, a map pops up, and from that map, I will introduce you to the farmer, the jenner, the spinner, the knitter, the finisher, the cut sew, and TS Designs. We make our supply chain completely transparent all the way back to the farmer. Henry admits his dirt-to-shirt concept isn't all that different from those popular farm-to-fork restaurants. And that's no coincidence. Offering the people alternative that they're looking for something, how they can support the community and have a better product and, and know where it comes from. We have had great cotton in the state for a long time. And all we're doing is reconnecting that cotton to jobs and textiles back in our state. With the goal of not putting the cheap overseas shirt makers out of business, but maybe growing and sewing a whole new business. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeff Sonier in Stanley County, North Carolina. And what a promising story.